It's day two at London Olympia at the Learning Technologies event. I'm here with Sioma Tech and Chief Executive Sambit. Just tell me a little bit about what your company's doing here and how important it is to, to meet, interact and network with people from the industry. We're essentially promoting our multi-dimensional learning solutions. So these are around using augmented reality and virtual reality for both training as well as uh, on-the-job support and uh, helping people to perform better. So they're really giving them the power to get information and uh, interact, uh, interact with content within uh, glasses, like smart glasses, for example, where uh, the hands are free. Uh, we can even put them in the real environment using uh, virtual reality or in the actual environment where they can use smart glasses to you know, get help from, let's say, colleagues sitting 100 miles away or access content within the glasses itself to help them do a, a step better. If they're struggling with something, they can actually pull the information from the glasses and, and be able to perform better. So being here uh, really you know, gets, uh, gets us to talk about the technology to a number of people, get a feel for how they react to it, because I think everyone feels that augmented reality is not for now. But in reality, it is now. We, we, what we're doing right now is within the glasses. We've, we produce, produce these uh, solutions, and they're working. We're also showing how you could take them and use them in use context. And I'm just doing a seminar uh, in, in maybe 20 minutes now to explain about that. But we also shot some videos, et cetera, to demonstrate how that could work. And uh, people can try it for themselves. They, they can use this. You've got an example here as well. This is very futuristic. But like you say, it's now. It, it's now it's, yeah, so when, when Google Glass came out with it, I think it's, it's been um, around, I think, um, two years back when Google Glass came out with it. So you had people sort of, uh, you know, with a little camera uh, in front of the eyes. The problem was it was uh, socially not accepted that somebody could you know, go around filming. Um, you know, uh, so a lot of pubs in California, for example, said anybody with uh, Google Glass is not allowed. And, and unfortunately, it became a failure uh, for that, uh, one of uh, not being socially acceptable, but also it was monocular. So people felt disoriented. It was quite limited to what you could do with it. But having said that, in two years' time, so people thought it was going to you know, die, like one of those uh, technologies. But in the last uh, two years, it's really grown by leaps and bounds. So there are a host of enterprise glass, uh, quality glasses available, and people are starting to use them in logistics, in, uh, in defense, uh, in, in sort of industrial uses, in hospitals, where you, you can actually go to a patient, put these glasses on, and be able to see the patient data come up in front of you. So you don't have, and then you can, you, let's say, I'm, I'm, you know, you're the patient, I'm trying to measure your pulse, et cetera. I could be seeing your data directly in front of me, instead of having to look, look through a file, go back into the details. So it's just being able to bring real data and information on, on the real world and, and supervise it on the real world. That's the key. And that's one of the big things that your company is involved with is, is producing the software for these glasses. For the smart glasses uh, and, and solutions, but also for virtual reality. So this is the other bit, which is um, where you you, have, you, have, you can actually use a normal phone, which is your... Uh, so you've just you know, got an iPhone, iPhone in this. Yeah, an iPhone or, you know, it could be a, like an Android phone. The whole idea is that you could then have someone, um, you know, transport someone into a different uh, world. So if you want to try this for a second, for example, and you can turn around and see the, uh, the world that you are in. It's really incredible. And uh, yeah. so, it, so it gets you, uh, you know, into the real uh, situation. So this could be used uh, for, and for example, if you want, uh, an example could be uh, for airlines. And they do on-the-job training, so they have to ground an aircraft. They have to then, you know, get people to go in the aircraft, do safety checks as part of the training. But here you could actually create a uh, virtual reality aircraft and get it into the classroom. So you're not uh, disrupting or having, a, having to keep a plane on the ground and not having to get people to go into an airport or wherever to do that training. So, so, the ability to, so VR is the ability to bring you know, your real life into a classroom, whereas AR uh, you know, allows you additional data and information that you can then use while, while sort of you know, having your hands free to do things. Fantastic stuff. Check these out. Sioma Tech, this is the future.